All right, guys, we are back with top eight hat format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got YCS Philly champion Dennis Nadas on the left playing Blue Eyes Mythic Ruler versus Aaron Castillo on the right playing Spellbook. So it looks like Dennis is going first, activates upstart. So uh, I think this is two seed versus seven seed. These two actually both had a draw. They drew with each other round one. But Dennis technically has not lost in this tournament. So here, uh, Castillo Aaron starts off by special summoning priestess. You can special summon priestess from your hand by revealing three other spell book spell cards and then activates Crescent. So Crescent does have some restrictions. Like you can't activate it. You can only activate spell book spell cards that turn you activate Crescent and you must have no other spell book spell cards in your graveyard when you activate Crescent. So you reveal three, I think three different spell book spell cards from your deck. And you randomly add one to your hand. So he reveals Fate, Master, and Eternity. So that tells us he already has secrets if he's not even going to try to get it. So he already has secrets in his hand. Now you add one randomly. The other two get shuffled. So your opponent doesn't know what you got. But here's the secrets we knew he had. Normal summons blue. And then so secret searches any spellbook spell card from your deck to your hand. He searched blue boy. Then he activates spellbook of the master. Which, Spellbook of the Master, you have to control a spellcaster type monster. You reveal a Spellbook spell card in your hand to copy the effect of a Spellbook spell card in your graveyard. So you search Attorney, so that tells us he already has Tower and Fate. He's got everything. Yep, so he's probably going to keep the Eternity in his hand and set three, one of them being Fate. And passes. So he chooses not to attack. Doesn't use High Priestess's effect because he's probably anticipating that that face down is a Fire Hand. So that's why he's just he's just probably gonna wait for Dennis to do, to do something and then fate the fire hand. So here Dennis summons Ice Hand. He's probably gonna yeah I I had a feeling he was gonna flip both. So we know Aaron's got fate down there. So which one does Dennis crash? So he tries to crash Ice Hand first, and now he's gonna have to decide do I let this? You, you kind of have to fate here. You have to fate the first one. Because otherwise he might snipe your fate with Ice Hand. So you have to fate here. I think this is why Dennis attacked with Ice Hand first. Because let's say he hits with Fire Hand. He might not have to fate the Fire Hand. He might just let it go through. But now if you attack with Ice Hand, if you don't fate the Ice Hand, he's going to potentially snipe your fate. So he's kind of forcing him to, yeah, you're either going to fate me or I could potentially snipe your fate. And... Yeah, it's taking a long time. He's got one card, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's the Spellbook of Fate. Ooh, okay, so he, I forgot about this play. You can book a moon. I think it's 2100 def defense, so then it's going to take 700. So I'm going to go over Spellbook of Fate. Spellbook of Fate, if you can, I think you have to control a spellcaster to use Fate. Yes. And you banish uh, up to three spellbook spell cards in your game. You, you banish one, it has a different effect, two or three. If you banish one spellbook spell card, it's a quick play spell, Spellbook of Fate. You can return, a, I believe you can return a spell to trap your opponent controls to the hand. It might be set. I don't remember exactly what it does. Because no one hardly ever uses that effect. People usually either A, use the second effect. Which is basically a Book of Moon for any monster on the field. If you banish two or three. If you banish three, it, it banishes any card your opponent controls. Doesn't target. And the field spell that Aaron used it, it, during your during your standby phase. If you control a spellcaster monster in your field or graveyard. You can return one spellbook spell card from your graveyard to the bottom of the deck. To draw one card. And you saw him put Fate to the bottom. And, and now he's just going to recycle the Fate. Yep. But the thing, the issue for Aaron is he still can't deal with the with the hands. Heck, and Dennis could probably make Exciton if he has room in his extra deck. I'm pretty sure he does. There's gotta there, there's gotta be an Exciton Knight. So here he activates Dragon Shrine, which is basically a foolish burial for dragons, but you can only activate one shrine per turn. You also get an additional foolish if you send a normal dragon monster. So you see here he's sending blue eyes. Blue Eyes and Blaster. 
All right, so we know Aaron's got fate. He's got three Spo books in his graveyard. So we'll go over the Dragon Rulers real quick. He sent Blaster, which is the Fire Dragon Ruler. Okay, he's going to special summon Blaster by banishing Redox and Blue Eyes. So Redox, when it's banished, searches an Earth Dragon-type monster from your deck to your hand. So the Dragon Rulers all have three different effects, but you can only use one effect per turn. They all have an effect when they're banished to search a dragon with the same attribute. So Blaster searches Dragon Fires, Redox searches Earth. Sorry. Blaster searches Fire Dragons and Redox searches Earth Dragons. So your normal summon is Mythic Tree Dragon. And then you can special summon Mythic Water Dragon if you control any Earth monster. So here he Phoenix Chains probably the Mythic Tree Dragon so that he can't make a level 8 XYZ monster. But he can make a level 4. Alright, so Blaster attacks over High Priestess. Here comes Fate. Does he banish the Blaster? Get, oh, no, he books the Blaster. He didn't have three? Did he only have two? He must have only had two spell books. I thought he had three. If only Castell was out, you would Castell the heck out of him right here. <laughs> Castell came out, what, like a year and a half after this? When did Castell come out? I don't remember. No, was Castell out during Necros format? I don't, I don't remember when Castell came out. But yes, I don't think we finished going over the Dragon Ruler. So yeah, they all have that effect when they're banished. They have effects in the hand where you can like... For a Blaster, for example, you can discard itself and any other Fire-type monster to destroy any card on the field. All the Dragon Rulers have that in-hand effect. And they also have the effect to special summon themselves from your hand or graveyard by banishing Dragon Monsters or monsters with the same attribute of, of that Dragon Ruler from your hand or graveyard. And also, they also return to your hand. If they're face up on the field, they return to your hand during your opponent's end phase. All right, let's see. It looks like Aaron's going to activate High Priestess' effect, which is basically High Priestess is like a Dark Arm Dragon or a Meister Hyperion. Once per turn, you can banish this spellbook spell card from your graveyard to, to pop any card your opponent controls. Okay, so he activates Crescent. He's going to randomly add one to his hand. So he popped the Mythic Water Dragon. Probably because he doesn't want to attack him. But he might have. you might have to switch that Priestess to attack mode. And at least run over the either A, the Blaster, or the Mythic Tree Dragon. So here comes Secrets. Yeah, so he'll be able to fate one of the hands. So summons Blue Boy. Blue Boy searches power. Power. So a spell book of power, it um, gives a spellcaster monster you control a thousand attack. And if it destroys a monster by battle, you search any spell book spell card from your deck to your hand. I don't think, did we go over spell book of eternity? Spell book of eternity is the one that recycles your spell books. It adds any banished spellbook spell card from yeah, adds any banished spellbook spell card to your hand from the banished zone. So here he attacks over Mythic Tree Dragon for what twenty, no. Thirty one, yeah, it looks like he hit over it with Priestess. So Priestess was at thirty five, so he took thirty four. So it should be thirty nine nine thousand. Now Aaron searching for spellbook of power. And there's the Spellbook of Life. Which, that one's kind of like a premature burial. Yep. It's like a premature burial for Spellbooks. They usually only play one. And almost all the Spellbook cards, you can only... I'm pretty sure they're all... You can only use one per turn. Oh, no, never mind. He didn't attack over with... Wait, what? I thought he attacked over the... Oh, he must have powered with the Blue Boy. Okay, that's what happened. So, how do we go reset? Let's see. So, it was only... He only took 14. So, here comes another shrine from Dennis. Sends the blue eyes and... He still got Blaster in the graveyard. So, 
so 59, 9,000. Does he have fate? I think he has fate, right? How does... If I'm playing Spellbooks, maybe you should main deck some of those cards to out the hands, like D-Fissure and Mac... No, you can't do Macro. You can probably do D-Fissure. D-Fissure Soul Drain. So he special summons Blaster by banishing Tidal. So here you're going to see he's going to search Mythic Water Dragon with Tidal since it was banished. Okay. If only return was out. <laughs> What's going on? People have people have complained about Dennis shuffling too much. It's it's far worse when he plays Edison, but he he's not that bad when in uh, Hat because. He doesn't draw his whole deck like he does in Track Turbo. Okay, let's see. What will Dennis do? What rank four can he make? Or he's just going to try to crash the hands. I mean, Aaron can't deal with them. Man, this is a long turn. There are 59 to 9,000. So he summons Flame Bell Guard, Synchros with the Guard, and the or think, thinks about Synchroing. And here comes good old Burial, returns to, returns two dragons to special summon Redox, synchros with the guard into Scrap Dragon. Okay. So here, Aaron Blackhorns the Scrap Dragon. I don't think we have to go over Blackhorn. That card is legal in Edison, just no one uses it. So here, he mirror forces both hands. So ch chain link one, chain link two. No, yeah. So the hands will activate. I think he's gonna make the the. He's gonna definitely make the spellbook a tower miss timing. Uh, I guess both hands activate. I don't know. Maybe someone let us know in the comments. Do will both those? Neither one of the. Will, I guess neither one of those hands miss timing. I know the tower does, but if if it's an illegal move, let us know in the comments. I should have asked my chat, but I'll ask my chat after this. So he popped the tower, popped the priestess, and then attacked him for what? This is 2,500 damage. Yeah. He attacked over Blue Boy and then hit him with everything. Wait, what happened to the fate? Did he not have fate? Okay, so here comes Spellbook of Life. So you banish a spellcaster for life to special summon a spellcaster, and I think you have to reveal a spellbook spell card in your hand. So priestess pop the spellbook of life. So I'm guessing it doesn't get destroyed if you pop the life. Yeah, just run over the fire hand. That the, those hands have been like unless if you can fate the hand. Okay, so Ice Hand will activate to bring out a Fire Hand. Yeah, this is not this is not looking good for for who? I mean, Dennis only oh, has only got two cards. Maybe just switch. Oh no, the Spellbook of Life has to bring out the Priestess in Attack Mode, so that kind of hurt him because if he could just bring it out in Defense Mode, he'd be in an okay spot. Maybe he should have just been fading the the uh, the hands. Oh, he's got Pot of Duality. He can't use Pot of Duality because he special summoned this turn. So now, uh, Dennis special summons title by banishing two Ice Hands. Aaron's got one back row. All right. What else does Dennis? What are the what are the plays does Dennis have? Normal summon flame bell guard synchros into a second a, a second two scrap dragons. How do you have room? <laughs> How do you have room, man? <laughs> so he chains fate. So he targets fire hand. Now do you do you have three spell books to pop to banish something? 
So you either A, banish the fire hand or the scrap dragon. Depends on the rest of your hand. So you choose the scrap dragon. So yeah, fire and ice hands effects only activate if they're destroyed in your possession by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect. So since he's destroying his fire hand with his own scrap dragon, it's not going to activate. So now he's going to special summon, uh, what, Redox? So 59, 65. So he's going to take 900 there. Then he takes, was that game? 14, 16, and I don't know. Maybe I, met, I must have missed something. Maybe I missed something earlier, but Aaron, maybe it wasn't game. He just conceded, unless I, I missed something. All right, so Dennis is one win away from making top four, or will Aaron pull off the backdoor 2-0? He starts off by normal summoning Justice of Prophecy, which if that card's, if a Spellbook spell card was activated previously this turn, I think that's what it does. You can tribute it during your end phase. No, you banish it. Sorry, you banish it. And then you add a level 5 or higher spellcaster type monster, light or dark spellcaster type monster, and a spellbook spell card from your deck to your hand. So you use secrets. Now he's going to add masters with the justice and probably priestess. Yes. That card's a really good starter, justice, but it, I kind of don't like it going second. But yeah, going first, it's good. Gives you priestess. Gives you a spell, another spellbook card. Let's see what the Philly, the Philly champ can do. Dennis was complaining about hat format, but he's been playing. He's actually he shows up more for hat than he did than he ever did for Edison, but he was complaining about hat format. Okay, so here comes Dragon Shrine, but he's been he's been performing pretty well in hat though. He's almost always consistently in, in top cut when I've seen. So here he activates Dragon Shrine, sends Blue Eyes and Stone. I think we already went over Shrine. And here comes Trade In. Imagine if you could do this play in, in Edison format in Dragon Turbo. Just Shrine, a Blue Eyes, and a Stone. Surge Blue Eyes. So here comes a ah, soul charge. <laughs> it's a soul charge. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them. And if you do, you take a thousand for each. So he's gonna take three thousand. You can't conduct your battle phase. <laughs> the turn you use soul charge, and you can activate one soul charge per turn. So here he black horns the Azurize and then sets a monster, leaves the blue eyes in attack mode. Is he he must be out of targets. Yeah. He must either A, he drew the third blue eyes, or he only plays two. So here, Aaron reveals three spell books to special summon priests from his hand. So here comes secrets. You're probably afraid of a hand there. It's his set monster is probably a fire or ice hand. So secrets, search blue boy, search power. So yeah, he's already going to have a fate set up. He's going to power over. Increase, oh, master, reveal wisdom, copy power. So Dennis chains DD Crow to the power. So now the the priest is still at thirty five, so he's still gonna get one search. So he hits over the blue eyes for five hundred. He's gonna search, fate probably or tower. Probably fate because you're almost certain that that's a hand face down, and you want to deal with his hand. I mean, he has three spellbook spell cards in his grave. Yeah, he's got double secrets and master. Yep, he searches fate. He has not used priest's effect, but yeah, you're like almost certain that that's a hand face down. So just set fate. And if Dennis tries to do anything, just use, you know, fate one of the hands. So he's going to set two. All right. Now let's see if Dennis can get out of this or will Aaron force the third game so he, he sets one back row and the monsters are probably two hands what back row would he set do you just pop it with priests just to be safe yeah I think you do right 
So he's going to fate first. Probably banish one of the monsters. Yes. Well, fate's going to target the old one, which is an ice hand. Now, priestess pop. Dennis is set torrential. Here comes eternity. And you can either. You probably have to recycle fate because you have no way to get it back. Oh, you can grab back master. Yes. I mean, you get secrets from master is the same thing, right? But. Maybe you'd rather keep the spellbooks in your deck. So maybe grab back the Master, copy Eternity. Let's see. Would you? Do you keep your Master in the deck? What if Dennis has another DD Crow, though? Oh, yeah. That's risky. But I get it. You want to get you want to get the spell books in your graveyard for fate. So he searches tower. Maybe he already has a. Maybe he has a, he has another blue boy. Maybe he already has a master in his hand. Oh yeah, he does have another master. So here comes a second crow from Dennis. Gets rid of the eternity. So yes, I believe with master you target, and that's why he was able to chain crow. So now he doesn't have fate. You have an attack, so maybe switch, switch the priestess to defense mode, right? Activate tower, switch priestess. No, switch priestess to defense mode, right? Yeah, Dennis is reading the tower, spellbook of the tower, or the grand spellbook tower. I don't know. Ooh, Dennis passed. So here comes tower's effect. He's going to return. Yeah, whenever... I. Whenever they get rolling like this, spellbooks are hard to beat. Dennis has like three cards. Oh, he it was a bluff debris dragon. Yeah, this game's over, man. Dennis, just go to the next game, man. So he's going to reveal three. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost positive they're going to go to th game three. But I have seen crazier stuff happen out of all the videos I've commented over the years. So here comes Eternity. Grab back. Secrets. Activate Secrets. Summon Blue Boy. Search Master. A third crow. <laughs> That's crazy. 45. That Gusto Phoenix. I think that card makes one of your monsters attack twice. Yeah, that's game. I think that's what that Gusto Phoenix does. I think he's going to make the priests attack him twice. So Aaron does force the third game. Who will move on to top four? Spellbooks already have one win on the channel. Mythic Rulers do not. Dennis and Aaron both also have one win in Edison format. But Aaron won his a long time ago. Like when I first started uploading. He's been in the final. Both these guys have been in the finals a few times as well. I think Aaron's been in the finals like four times, and Dennis has been in the finals three times. So game three, Dennis starts off by activating Dragon Shrine. What's he gonna send? Sends Blue Eyes and Stone. Searches Blue Eyes with the Stone. Come on, trade in. Trade in again. Yep. Oh, man, that's two games in a row. Draws two. Already three dragons in his graveyard. So special summons Redox by banishing Blue Eyes and the Stone. Chains Max C. So Max C is a quick effect. During either player's turn, you can discard it from your hand to the graveyard. For the rest of the turn, each time your opponent special summons, you draw one card. I'm not that big of a fan of... Maxi against Mythic Rulers. Alright, so here he skill drains the blue boy. Then activates Potter Duality that reveals Double Priestess and Kaiku. Oh, I mean, what does Kaiku do to this field? Dennis has a 3,000 wall Redox on the field. Probably a hand set. Unless he's bluffing with Debris or Flame Bell Guard. 
Yeah, I think I, I get uh, Priestess too. What do you need Kaiku for? I think I think you grab Priestess because if you draw a spell book of Wisdom or any way to go get Wisdom, you can get rid of the Skill Drain. But instead, he chose Kaiku. Again, I don't know the rest of his hand. I mean, you played three Secrets, three Crescent, so you have a good chance to get to... Oh, yeah, you had the Wisdom right there. But he probably doesn't have enough Spellbook spell cards. But you got to draw to your outs, man. And I don't know. Maybe he has another Priestess already. So he searches Master. Master. Yeah, Master. Copy Secrets. Reveals Power. Searches Tower. I guess you can Power and hope that it's a Ice Hand set. All right, tower set two and pass. So here he flips, flips summons Flame Bell Guard. Synchros with Redox and Flame Bell Guard into. Oh wait, Dennis paid a thousand for Skill Drain. What's he gonna go into? Okay, he goes into Stardust. Here comes another black card. Man, that card's so annoying. So now Dennis special summons Redox by banishing Stardust and Blue Eyes. So he brings out an attack mode. Probably just run over the Blue Boy. So he attacks over Blue Boy for 11. So we're at 7,069. Dennis is left with two five cards, but Aaron's only got what? Four. Okay, yeah, I know. I think I think Dennis is favored right now. Oh, never mind. He's got tower too. Now okay, no. He can fight out of this. Now all of a sudden he's up on cards, right? I think he's got six cards. So there's the Kaiku. Activates. Master, reveal power. Copy secrets. Dennis chains crow to the master. Activates power on the Kaiku. Attack over Redox for 12. He's going to search Spellbook of Wisdom. See, if that was if that was um, Priestess, he would have been able to pop the Skill Drain. He would have been able to go Wisdom. Oh, I guess this is, this is why he did it. Because he can, like, Wisdom. Yeah, he can Wisdom the Kaiku and stop him from banishing... I guess you can just fate skill drain too. Yeah. So now he's going to draw one. Activate eternity. Add back. Add back secrets. Activate secrets. I think they're getting close to time. So Dennis is kind of rushing him. Did I mess up life points? Is Let's see. He took 11 with Redox attacking over Blue Boy. And then he took 1,000 for Skill Drain and 12 with Power. So, so normal Fire Hand, Special Summon Tempest. So he's just going off. I think they're getting really close to time. That's why you see Dennis is playing really fast. So Crashes takes 200. So he burial special summon both dragons. He's looking at his back row. So then he's gonna take 14, 24, and 16. Yeah, I'm almost positive they were in time. Yeah, Firehand pops the Kaiku. And yep. So I'm pretty sure oh his other back row is another black horn. So then it's moving on to the top four. Would he have won if they weren't in time? Mm, I don't know. He still had two dragons up. I don't know. Maybe Dennis still wins that match. Anyways, let me know if I missed anything. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back soon for top four. Bye, guys.